What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next word problem in trigonometry. Before getting into the problem, one thing I wanna mention is that there's multiple ways to do this particular problem that we're going to cover. At this point in the course, we haven't covered this sine law or the cosine law yet. And so you can use those laws if you've covered them in your particular class to solve this question. But when I'm solving this question, I'm only going to be using the tools that we've used or learned up to this point. So only the primary trig ratio, sine, cos, and tan to solve this. So I just wanted to give a heads up that there, all, there are multiple ways to solve this, but I'm only gonna do the um, primary trig ratio way. So a uh, 220 meter long bridge over a river is supported by two cliffs. From one end of the bridge, the angle of depression to a point on the river is 40 degrees. From the other end, it is 52 degrees to the same point. How high above the river is the bridge? So like usual, you want to start off with a diagram here. So let's say that this here is the river and then we have these two cliffs like this. Okay, and then over the river, there's this bridge here like that. Okay, that's supported by those cliffs, right? So the bridge is going over this river and we're told that this bridge here is 220 meters long. Now what they're saying is that from one end of the bridge, so let's say from this end here, the angle of depression to a point on the river is 40 degrees. So if we pick a point on the river, let's say like here, the angle of depression, remember that the angle of depression or elevation, it's always from the horizontal. So if we're going down like this, this here would be the angle of depression, or if we're going up, that would be the angle of elevation, right? So we're dealing with an angle of depression, meaning that this here is the angle of depression, right? So at a 40 degree angle of depression, so let me draw this angle over here, 40 degrees, we're looking at a point on the river. Now they're saying from the other end of the bridge, um, it is 52 degrees, an angle of depression of 52 degrees to that same point over here. So this angle right here is gonna be 52 degrees. Let me actually just draw out, instead of a dotted line, I'll just put a solid line like that. Okay, so from to the same point on the river, from this end of the bridge, we look at the point at an angle of depression of 40 degrees. And then from this end to the bridge, looking at the same point, we're looking at an angle of depression of 52 degrees. And what they're asking for is how high above the river is the bridge? So basically remember the river is here. And so they're basically asking the distance from this point to this point, this H value here, or over here, this H value, right? Both of these here are going to be the same. Now, notice that we have this triangle over here. However, notice that it's not a 90 degree triangle, but we do have 90 degree triangles that we created right here. We have this 90 degree triangle, and then we have this 90 degree triangle. And those are the triangles that we are going to be using. Now, because the bridge and the river are parallel and we have this line that's going through them, well, with the Z pattern, we know that this angle and this angle are going to be the same. Same thing here. This angle and this angle are gonna be the same. If you remember the Z pattern, if you got two parallel lines and you have a line going through both of them, basically this angle and this angle are gonna be the same, or this angle and this angle are gonna be the same. So we just applied that rule over here to get this angle and this angle in these two right triangles that we're gonna be using. So we have these two right triangles. Let's maybe, you know what? I'll just draw them out separately just so we could see more clearly. So we got 40 degrees right here. We have this H value, that's what we're solving for. And then we have this other triangle right here. We have that same H value we're solving for, but then this is 52 degrees. Now, what's the problem here? Well, we don't have enough information at this point 
to solve for this h value. But notice that this entire distance from here to here, we're given it's 220 meters. Same thing from here to here is 220 meters. So what we could do is we could split these two up. We can say, okay, if we let this distance be x right here from this point to this point, meaning that if we let this side be x, then what's this side gonna be here? Well, if the entire thing is 220, then we can say that this side here is gonna be 220 minus x like that. So we let this be x here. That means this here is gonna be 220 minus x because the entire thing is 220 from here to here. So again, if this is x, let's say this is like 50 meters. Well, then this length is gonna be 220 minus the 50 right, because the entire total is 220. So again, if this is x, this here is going to be 220 minus x. And now notice that we have two triangles that have the same variables, x and h, and so we could set up two equations and solve for those two variables here. Now notice that with this triangle, if we're looking at this angle here, this h is the opposite side, and then notice this 220 minus x is the adjacent side. And what ratio deals with the opposite and the adjacent? Well, it's the tan ratio. So we can say over here that tan 40 is equal to the opposite side, the h value, over the adjacent side, which is this 220 minus x, like that. Okay, and then we could do the same thing here if we're dealing with this angle 52 degrees. Notice that this is the opposite side. This here is the adjacent side. So we could set this up to be 10 of uh, 52 equals the opposite, which is h, over the adjacent side, x, right here. Okay, so we use these two triangles to set up these two equations, and we need two equations because we have two unknowns, this h and this x value. But now we could solve for these. And so there's multiple ways to do this. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna cross multiply here. So one times h is just h, and then we'll have 1040 times this 220 minus x like that. And then cross multiply here, one times h is h, and then we'll have x, or sorry, 10 of 52 times this x value right here. And so notice that the h is equal to this, but the h is also equal to that, which means that this and this have to be the same. If they both equal h, well, that means that both of those expressions have to be the same. And so we could set up an equation here, or if you think about it, it's like substitution, we're taking this expression for h, plugging it in for that h. And so what we would end up with here is basically tan 40 to 20 minus x equals 10 of 52 times x like that. And now notice that we have one, or we have an equation in terms of one variable to solve. And so what you could do here is for the tan 40, you could input this decimal, 0.84, I rounded it to two decimal places. 10 of 52 is 1.28, just to make it a little bit uh, easier to solve or to see it a little bit easier. And then we distribute the 0.84 inside the bracket. 0.84 times 220 would give us 184.8. And then 0.84 times negative x would give us negative 0.84x like that. And then we'll have 1.28x like that. Then we can bring the negative 0.84x over and then we'll have 1.28x plus 0.84x, which would give us 2.12x, like that. And then we could divide both sides by 2.12. So let's do that over here. So basically to isolate for that x value. So basically x is going to equal 184.8 divided by 2.12. And when you do that calculation, you'd end up with 87.17 meters for this x value. So that's going to be this distance over here. And then you could plug in this x value for either of these to solve for that h value. I'm going to plug it in this one. I feel like it's easier to work with. So we'll have 10 of 52 
times this x value of 87.17 meters. And when you do that calculation, you'd get approximately 111.57 meters, like that. And that's going to be this h value here. So that's going to be the final answer. That's how high above the river v bridges. Okay, so fairly complex question. We had to set up these two triangles here, set up two equations. We got two unknowns and then we used substitution to solve. Uh, and again, if you know other tools to use, there are other ways to solve this. So like you could get this angle over here, right, by doing 180 minus the 40 minus the 52. And then you could use sine law. So you could go sine of this angle over 220 equals sine of 40 over this. You can get this side here. And then once you have this side and this angle, you can then solve for that H. So that's another way to go about it. But again, up until this point, we haven't learned sine law yet. That's gonna be in the next chapter. But in the next chapter, once we learn it, maybe you can take a note of this question come back, try to solve it another way, and you should get the exact same solution.